was a psychopath and it was the psych meds that they thought what that he thought was his vitamins oh so, like, shit his watch would his watch would go dee, 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 go time to take my vitamins <laughs> and he stopped taking them and he turned into a he turned into a sociopath he was like it's time to go to bed now and he's like, oh. like your voice has changed he's like yes like the soothing lullaby of a madman isn't it oh wow oh, yeah yeah <laughs> that's funny oh, invite i need invite let's try this again invitation invitation yeah. Invitation, or for those of you who speak Spanish, invitation. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. But yeah. I'm going to write this shit down. I'm going to write when I cut you off now. Well, you There's don't know right. writing. Writing is, event, is, is illegal. I know, right? Writing is stupid. I'm trying to find this one hootie cat real quick for uh, Joe. Because he oh. just watched Sin of a Woman. Hey, so you know how um, if if two things don't line up quite right in Illinois, you know, it's like, you know, what do they call that? Chicago? Well, Caddy yeah. Wampus, you know, right? Yeah, Caddy Wampus. Yeah, Caddy Wampus. Down here, we don't say Caddy Wampus because I said that and everyone looked at me like I was nuts. You know what they say down here? What? Womper jawed. Walpert? What? The hell? <laughs> yeah, dude, that's funny. If two, mm-hmm. if two things don't add up, it's Womper Jawed. So gotta love the local lingo, right? But yeah, I just thought you know that you might want to know that. All right, here we go. Humdingers, remember Humdingers? That's an alt. Humdingers, yeah. <laughs> oh damn really all right everybody welcome back to the miscellaneous podcast i'm your host Polly, and tonight we have everybody else with us we have uh jo- jo- cocktail joe i can't talk word tequila makes me happy there you go b dism i'm only here so Polly doesn't fire me <laughs> jaded spider I'm here under distress. He's kidnapped oh, no. my son. <laughs> Texas Josh. Blink twice if you're here against your will. <laughs> With a title that says it all. Where's Scott? <laughs> did he just ditch us? I think he did. Oh, well. Scotty. Scotty. Scott, man. He's like, screw you. Yes. All right. Scott! Well, first things. Scott. But first things first, guys. Here we go. Don't feel bad about me. Got my hand back, see? We've only just begun to live white lace and promises. A kiss. Oh, Carl Weathers, you died too soon. I know Dude, he was sad, 74. Mm-hmm. He died of natural causes. That was really loud. Was it really loud to you guys, by the way? Yeah, I don't know how to do yeah. the volume on these. I, I mean, you know, turn your volume down, down if you don't like it. I'm deaf now. Yeah, I know, right? That's why I didn't let it go, but it like does a whole montage. Thank you, TikTok, for all my, my clips today. But um, it does a whole montage of every all the movies. Let me let me turn back on. I'm going to see if I can mess with the sound. Do you guys mind? All hail China. What? Yeah. Don't feel bad about me. I got my hand back, see? We've only just begun to live white lace and promises. A kiss for luck and we're all. Apparently, I can only. Did I was was I muting it with you guys too? No. Oh. It was, well, whatever. It automatically mutes your mic. I know it mutes your mic, but it didn't mute the song like when no, it was it going. Oh. No. 
Well, there we go. There's something that we need to fix for the stream labs or figure out how to do it. Uh, hey, that makes technology. me worry about the next one. Um, let's go to the next one then. Let's see if that works. Okay. You guys seen the new GoPro, but not GoPro, um, the Apple, the Apple goggles, Pro. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I want a pair and I'm not even an Apple user. It was funny. There was a, there was a, there was a guy who's like, oh, it's great for everything. And all he's doing is like, just like effing noise. You know, <laughs> effing. And he's like, it's great for work. <laughs> There's nothing but porn everywhere, right? But did you know that hey. this is not this is not new? VR porn uh, is the best porn. What? Huh? Huh? Yeah, but this isn't new. You ready for this? Watch this profile. Okay, there has to be a way to make this quieter for criminy sakes. <laughs> this is way too loud. <laughs> It just is all you have is remove. Fuck, dude. Profile. It can't be this loud. <laughs> there has to be a different. How do you fix this? Um, I mean, I didn't really need my ears anyway, so it's all good. There, there has is there a volume control somewhere? Volume controls for nerds. Check Apparently. the TikTok actual app. At TikTok actually, I think has the volume on it. Um, yeah, that's what I was trying I was trying to do, but th this is downloaded to here. And while I was doing the show prep, it was regular sound. Ew. Ew. Yeah, let me see if I can uh am I quieter to you guys right now? No. Am I quieter now? A little bit. Um, I'm a little bit quieter. How about now? Quieter. No, it's same, 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 I, same, same. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. So cover your ears quieter. while we try to figure this out. Profile. 19% profile. Presenting the Vista Mac. The Vista Mac 2, a new. I mean, to be fair, everything was loud in the 80s, so sorry. Oh my God. No, <laughs> this is not DT right. Every, everything three, was three loud. This, did it, the volume go down? It just felt like it got louder. I, I don't know what to do here, man. This is supposed to be... This is really bad for me because I, all my shit's this stuff. <laughs> How do I turn my volume down? Settings. Let's go to settings here. Audio. Yeah, just uh, uh, unplug, unplug it back in again. It'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> click, click, leave studio. That'll turn it. Mm. <laughs> what did yeah, that it, thing it actually do? What did it do in 1999? It looked like it. it I, I actually, I couldn't find anything on it. Yeah, I, um, think, I think it was BS. But I, I got to figure out how to how to do this volume. There's no way in hell this is that. So I don't, I have no idea how to turn this volume down. Let me see if there's a way I can, I don't even know how to fucking do this. Google it. Hey, you had to Google what eyes. You should have done was put the, put the C type one all the way up at the top. But, but what? Oh, you're, oh, you're talking to me. Oh. But you could just take the caps off and do that. Yeah, this has nothing to do with what we're talking about, is it? <laughs> Okay, why can I look up video clips? Stop streaming your audio in all caps. It's voice control to say volume down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're in the show. Everyone can see and hear you. <sighs> Fire. Over the, over the heat. Uh. See, even that's loud too. What is happening that was, that here? Wasn't, that wasn't very loud. No, yeah, but that, these other ones are happening. extremely loud. Yeah, How do you? The ticky talkies are loud. Don't feel bad about me. I got my hand back. See? There's no I way to change. Feel bad about me. I got my hand back. See? No way to change the volume <laughs> on this. This is retarded. This. Uh... 
just are you just doing it through uh, the, the Streamyard, or are you doing it through OBS, or what are you doing? What are you playing? It through? It's through Streamyard. Like, there's no way that it, it, everything else is friggin'. You could change the volume. You could do this. You could do that. Bazooka Guabo, but you can't Not do it here. Yard. That's right. Stupid. Keep it knocking, but you can't come in. This I isn't good because I have. A, let's try the next one, okay? We'll we'll, go, we'll just start the show and. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna have to figure out uh, how to oh, do this. Turn your quick. turn your sets down. This is my what? Totally, totally, totally random thought here. Yeah. I got some ice cream from Schnucks. <laughs> <laughs> because, well, nice. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's because you know I I I I'm, um, I, I dodged the Rona for three years, uh -huh. and, it finally, and it finally caught up to me. Finally got my black eyes. And now that I can taste stuff again, I got this ice cream from Schnooks. It's the Schnooks brand ice cream called Surf and Sprinkles. Blue fruity cereal flavored ice cream with rainbow sprinkles. What? This, this stuff tastes like Fruit Loops or ba Fruity Pebbles. And it we is just so got good. ice cream that tastes like Fruity Pebbles. Dude. <laughs> You know, you get this. You get this. Let's, let's let's do this. Here we go. And so the next time you're at Schnucks, get this surf and sprinkles. It's get called surf, surf and sprinkles. sprinkles. Okay. Surf and sprinkles. It's blue with sprinkles in it. I will All have right. to check that out because that sounds yummy. Because I love fruity pebbles and fruit loops. I just saw there was a, a fruit loops flavored sweet tarts. Mm. You know, fruit loops. Oh, fruit loops pop tarts. No, 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 no. They're fruit flavored sweet tarts. You know the sweet so, tart. So I got I got Fruit Loop Pop Tarts once. But all the Fruit Loops are the same flavor. Yeah, they are. Mm. It doesn't matter. Okay. And, and I got and I got uh, Hardee's used to sell Fruit Loop donuts. Well, this was like yeah, they donuts. did, and it had Fruit Loops on top of it, right? No, they were just donuts that were like different colors. That was they wrong. Tasted, they're like mini donuts that are different colors, and they taste like Fruit Loops. Okay. They were just all so right, good. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try this one more. I'm gonna turn down this value. Uh, 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 all right, let's see if this, let's see if this works. Okay, okay. Uh, watch your ears. Okay, this might be loud. You ready? And uh, three, two. Don't feel bad about me. All right, let me try something else it's here. It's the same. Quick. It's yeah. the same. Yeah. This is bullshit. Don't feel bad about me. I got my hand. Def, I'm gonna okay. go grab my beverage. This sucks. Well, we're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'll work on the next one. All right, but in the meantime, he's grabbing a beverage, but I want to talk about a samurai sword. Would you all like to know? I would like to know more. Tell all right, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Tell me more. Tell me you more. You guys seen the picture, right? Ooh. My picture. Oh, the samurai sword. You liked it? Here we go. Here we go. A Sunday, th this Sunday, the last Sunday, on the 4th, police arrested a 43-year-old man named Ravi Saxonia. Why are there always people who you can't... Pre Why didn't David Smith get arrested? I know, right? <laughs> well, well, Paulie wouldn't be able to... Uh, well, it depends. Was, was it in Florida? If it's in Florida, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to, no. <laughs> no, this it was, was like in... David Smith... <laughs> Yep. <laughs> so it it's Ravy Sex. How would you say this? Oh, it, it doesn't show. There we go. Ski. Wow. Uh, sexy. Okay. So around 5:43 p.m. in Vancouver, Washington, he was arrested because he was wielding a samurai sword, threatening people, and then he walked into a Walmart, threatening more people. Uh, where police then got there and evacuated the Walmart, which is probably hard as fuck to do, and uh, apprehended him. Uh, and he also had this on him too. So he not only did he have this, this, this is the actual samurai sword, which if you look, it's also in the uh, aisle where you buy it from in Walmart. Um, and there it is. He had also that too. Nice. So he, yep. had, he, had, he had a knife with a burnt It's like a Klingon sword. <laughs> it does, yeah. Yeah, it so he was wielding a sword. He was walking around Walmart. The police apprehended, uh, they, they arrested him. They found a five-inch blade on him, but he was charged with multiple things of brandishing a weapon, threatening bodily harm, attempted uh, a murder, and um, I think something about carrying a concealed weapon. <laughs> but Holy cow. 
That yeah, sword he, looked like a, it looked like the blade of it was wooded. Honestly, it cost some fuck picture, around to find picture. out. Picture. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, it yeah. looks almost wooden. Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, the like, the nice yeah, like yeah, lacquered wood, coppery. Yeah, yeah. I thought this was the. Uh, I think this. Uh, this looks like one of the Walmart things, the self checkout aisle. Was it where it's sitting at? <laughs> Doesn't it? <laughs> he was just, no. He was yeah. just trying to take it to the coin thing so he could get the copper back. For there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Please put the item in the bag. Please put the yeah. item in the bag. He was taking yeah. it to the coin star. So that's what it is. <laughs> it shows. It shows like he's trying to steal it. It shows like the video of this. You did not bag this yet. <laughs> you ever seen the it's video of the? Uh, you ever seen the video of the lady that went crazy in Walmart and got tasered by a cop in Walmart? No. Uh, yeah. Well, she Did she have, have, have a knife or something? She had, she had a knife on her. Like, yeah. Yeah. Day, I've though. seen a lot of those. There's a lot of videos where people That's get tasered funny. in shots. That's like every day in Walmart, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I just said. I was like, not every day. <laughs> every day there's someone. You know, it's funny. You go to Walmart and you always have the Walmart people, right? And it doesn't matter where you go. We went to Galveston, Texas. There were still Walmart people. Oh, yeah. Just yeah, saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Walmart is Walmart. Well, Gal- people. That's because, uh, you know what? I can't say anything about Galveston. I live here, but it's a trash hole. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Galveston has a boardwalk, know. and that's about it. Galveston's yeah. not a trash hole. Galveston just has very unique people that live there. Mm. All right. Well, there you go. That was nice on that one. I think we'll stop here and we'll try to do a commercial break real quick. Over the, over the hey, uh. yeah. Yeah, we'll end it with that one. Let's do that one, okay? And go into commercial. Fire. I just want to know who signed off on this. Who decided I need to watch infinite versions of myself take a shit in four dimensions? And we're back. <laughs> All right. I apologize. What, it's going to be loud. That? Oh, that that's like the, the what? The Weird Al Yankovic of mumble rap or something? No, that's the best mumble rap ever, man. That's Coco. <laughs> oh, wow. You can tell me looking at the screen because Coco comes up and it says, Danger, indecipherable lyrics. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. To each his own. Yeah. Um, uh, we have several things to talk about. Next thing I want to talk about is actually, um, something like this. It's going to be a little loud, but we're going to get to it. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Talk about yours. Okay. Oh. So here we go. We're going to play this real quick. I'm going to cut through it. Sorry for the, 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 the really loudness, but this is something about, uh, you know how, like we're all trying to get on di- uh, YouTube, right? We're all trying to be YouTube sensations, whatever. Cause none of us want to work, you know? Uh, I'm not this... trying to be a YouTube <laughs> sensation. That you are, right? <laughs> I, yeah. You just can't well, find me. There you go. Um, but check this out. So this lady, what's her name again? Lydia the Bard. Lydia the Bard. Get your microphone down so you can start talking. Is it plugged in? Uh, I don't know. Oh, no, we're not plugged in here. Let me get you plugged in here real quick. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While we do that, uh, here, it's really loud. Enjoy. I have not spent my life reading books, my hours studying to be some desperate prince's lonely wife. Wanna lock me away? Well, by all means, have your fun with that, but I will be the author of my life. So to hell with your flower, you're all idiots for thinking that you'd really make it out of this alive. Still as old as time, you are nothing but a monster to me. So what she does, sorry about it being really loud again, but uh, what this lady does is she takes... Uh, she creates Disney songs, right? Here, you can tell. Them. So what she does is she takes Disney princess songs and turns them into villain songs. And she does a nice. really good job. That, that was like Belle's song. Uh, uh, tells us all the times, but she turned it into a villain song. Which to yeah, me... People, I can dig it. Like, it, to me, it would be more realistic because like you're getting kidnapped and you've done all this to my family, you know, to my father. I'd be wanting revenge. Like, fuck that. Mm-hmm. And it you guys are going to love. Start- <laughs> <laughs> like, but that was like she's done one for Mulan, which is another one I love. Uh, she's done one for um, let's see, I think she did one for Tantiana. Her and she does, and she does all kind of other covers for other songs besides Disney. Uh, Disney. Well, you were breaking it down. You were telling yeah. me like like earlier. You're saying like Bella was Bell, whatever. Um, I've heard it both ways. 
And um, so she, she's act like it's actually the villain because the dude kidnapped her, right, or something. So like Beast would be the villain technically mm -hmm. if you think about it. You know, if you break down Beauty and the Beast, actually, Gustav was the villain. But that's yes, okay. uh, guess, someone, the villain. guess someone was the villain, but you think the real villain would be the Beast because he kidnapped her. You know, he took her dad. Was I it mean, yeah. but Gaston was the villain in in the movie. Yeah, but she's also saying that the Beast is would be the bad guy too because he literally kidnapped her. If well, you think look, about you know, look, yeah, if you he, can stab your boyfriend a hundred and eight times because you. Got <laughs> <stabbed> <laughs> <laughs> so like to me realistically you know bell's villain song makes sense yeah now you know this is this brings up a question i mean because i'm going through like disney movies in my mind plus i'm sitting here actually pulling up disney plus to think about a movie that <laughs> i would probably <laughs> like to see her do a song the emperor's new groove yeah Did she do one of those no 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 oh that would be good another no. one that, that would be good, good. So we're gonna tag her in this. So hope she she uh, listens to this. So another one that makes sense to me is Mulan's because we talked about this. Because Mirror Mirror Mulan, one. no the song, no the song was uh, was it Mirror? Something about a mirror. Uh, reflection? No, reflection? no uh, uh, the song was uh, Shane's. Uh, I'll make a man out of you. She turned it into a villain oh, okay. song. Was Mulan's okay. rendition if she like joined the Huns, and like joined the hunt, the oh, hunt, wow. the hunt, the hunt, wait the hung. The Huns. Huns. Like Huns. 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 You call like Attila the Hun. <laughs> because <laughs> oh my historically, God. the Huns seen the Huns, wind. the barbarians, the Smiths, <laughs> the Joneses. What are you talking about? No, so realistically, I mean, you call you call the Hung. And, yeah. Uh, and <laughs> realistically, the Huns see men and women as soldiers, and the Chinese only seen men as soldiers, and she would she should have been killed when mm. they found out. She was a soldier. Oh wow! Yeah, I know, but like, yeah, yeah, Mulan, yeah. <laughs> it makes you, it makes you crave for some more uh, dark Disney, like, uh, like, yeah. uh, black Cal like the Black Cauldron. Oh my god! Yeah, ah, matches and crunches. There and like, there's just so many that I like. That uh, movie sucked. Yeah, the, <laughs> and another. What about the black hole? That was horrible. <laughs> just nine minutes oh, of it going movie. into and, the like, black another hole. Another one of my yeah. favorites yeah. is Isabelle's. From uh, in Enchanto, uh, which is more recent. Hold on, how would you say that in Spanish, Josh? How would you say what in Spanish? <laughs> Enchanto. <laughs> Enchanto. <laughs> oh yeah, as they say in Spanish, enchanted. Yeah. <laughs> 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 or you could put L in front of anything. Because like <laughs> she was pressured. cell phone. And that and like I, I can feel I can feel <laughs> Isabella's sing, pain go, because sing, she go, was sing, pressured go. into being perfect all the time with all her perfect roses, you know. And like we apologize to all the Hispanic and uh Mexican culture. I don't know fucking know. I'm sorry. And Gates McFadden. But like Yes. <laughs> but hers <sighs> is, hers is a, that's another good one. I highly recommend go give a listen to. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got to get that. I have a clip for you. Uh, I have to get it for next show that we're going to keep on here. Just like, you know, the Humma Humma uh, of Gates McFadden's collection. So, And then one of her more recent ones, which is the cover of a different song that's not related to Disney, mm -hmm. is uh, I Need a Hero. Yeah, that was a good that one. That was a really good like, one. You guys remember Footloose? I need a hero. Yeah. Um, she did a version of that. It's really good. So check it out. Lydia the Bard, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, is she single? Does she do OnlyFans? <laughs> mm, she does OnlyFans now. <laughs> of course, of course. When I like the it. song "I Need a Hero," I always think of uh, who was Harry Crumb. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good yeah, and the boots to match. Mm -hmm. When I hear that song, I think of uh, the episode of Alvin and the Chipmunks from the eighties. Wow. Nice. Oh wow, Alvin Simon. Theodore. Oh, I love that. I love the theme song. Oh, that was so. You knew it was Saturday morning when you started hearing that one, and then they're all the like, you know, the the, uh, the Hot Wheels and oh man, I hate you, beat is up. And then you know, Schoolhouse Rocky, the chip off the block. No, nope, Schoolhouse sorry. Rock. Mm -hmm. No, nope, Schoolhouse not a fan. Rock. You don't remember? Like, remember, I was never a fan. Oh, Conjunction Junction. 
Yeah, what's your junk? What's your function? Yeah. Well, it was always against uh, education. Well, I, I watched, you know, I was bad. I watched Pee Wee Herman. I think everybody did that, right? Yeah. Pee Wee Herman hey. Playhouse. Yeah. Absolutely. Here's a fun fact about uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. What? Pee Wee's Big Adventure. The, the people who des- who did the, sh- uh, the movie for Pee Wee's Big Adventure didn't know how to write a screenplay. So they got a book on how to write screenplays and they <laughs> fought and they followed it exactly wow and now Wee's big adventure is used in like uh all the directors uh like when you go to school to become a director and stuff like that no shit and, and when watch theater they use that movie because it's exactly 90 minutes long the first act is exactly 30 pages long the second act is exactly <laughs> 30 pages long and the third act is exactly 30 pages long <laughs> It is, the, it is the precise way to make and and develop a screenplay, and they use wow. it for college classes. Oh wow, that is cool, dude! I didn't have wow. that book in my director's closet. I feel ripped off. There you go. <laughs> and if you um, ever take a look, and if you ever take a look, uh, the Easter egg. It's with, in a book oh. with some of these animators that go to school in California. If you see the letters like A one one three or something like that. Hmm. In some of these older cartoons, and some sometimes in the newer cartoons, it was the beginning animation class that they all have to go through in this college. So all these animators that came out of this college would hide that A one one three. I think it's A one one three, but oh, they wow. hide it in different cartoons. Yeah, I think I like Disney that. didn't Disney fund that school. Huh. I know Walt sent people to Disney training. No, Disney put style symbols in all their cartoons. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, no, he said no. Disney sent like all of his people to anti-Semitism <laughs> classes. Oh, Watch a Disney okay. film. There's dicks everywhere, man. Come on. Oh my God. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Disney. Yeah, Disney had penises everywhere. <laughs> Fuck. Well, no. Uh, what was it? The uh, the one where um Mickey and Minnie are holding each other. Mickey's bo- or Minnie's body is yeah. in the shape of a penis. There's a penis in the castle in Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember uh, that. Yeah. Them, Mickey, yeah, Mickey puts holes in the donuts with his um, penis. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's an old night 1930s cartoon. I'm not do, do Google it, man. Yeah. What the, the dark side of wait, are you looking it up? It's not the dark <laughs> side of Disney. It's what everybody knows in Disney. I mean, in, in, in college, I had a theater professor who was our set designer who put penises uh, on in, in all his set designs. Every one of our mm. sets had a penis somewhere. Some some were more <laughs> obvious than others, but for the most part, nice. well, the, the first show I did with him was Pirate the Penzance. And FYI, big... I'm doing my Comic Con stuff, so back off. Sure. I thought you were looking up penises from Disney. Okay, so I Pe- looked it up. in Disney and go. <laughs> so I looked it up, and A113 is the Speech number of the animation classroom at the California Institute for the Arts. Cool. I like it. So you'll see that A113 in a lot of different cartoons. That's what that's from. That's the animator putting that Easter egg in there. It's a cult. That's cool. <laughs> it's a trap. Hey, does anybody want to hear about a satellite going down in somebody's backyard? Uh, sure, why not? Yeah. Right, well, a, you can buy a house with a decommissioned Harrier in the, in the, in the backyard. That what? Oh, Wait, that is that like a person. rule or something? You do that? Yeah, and, and like England, somebody put a house up for sale. That's, uh, I think the house is like four million dollars, but it or something like that. But it comes with a decommissioned Harrier in the backyard. No shit, that's cool. All right, here we go. It's gonna be loud. That's where Arnie put it. Jet. Never know what's gonna happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. It's never boring on the Welke farm. Thank God there's no horses out, or it didn't hit the house. Did you see what it is at the very end? It said Samsung. Did it say Samsung? Yeah. Yep. You know, you can claim you can claim you can claim salvage rights on that. Oh, dude, check this out. Dude, so, that look like some bad, like you know, sixth grade play, like you know, model. Somebody comes. Yeah, somebody it does. Comes looking it? for that. Somebody I mean, comes the looking for that. Just, the bidding yeah. starts at ten mil. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the moon suit play, knocking play, on your door. Play that again. I want to see. But what did it say on the side of it? I thought it said like space shuttle on the side. Yeah, like, there what? you go. All right, loud again. Sorry. Never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. It's never boring on the Welke farm. 
Thank God there's no horses out or it didn't hit the house. I think it said space selfie. <laughs> it does. It says Damn space selfie. selfie. Yeah, space well, selfie. On Saturday, January 3rd, this air quote pseudo satellite from um, Samsung fell from the sky and landed in the Welkies family farm in Muriel, Michigan. Uh, farmer owned owners- by the NSA. Yeah. No, it was built by the same guy that would uh, that built the rocket to see if the prove the world was flat. So that was his satellite. What was it? One guy. One one guy went up in the in the in the chair, the lawn chair with all the satellite balloons. <laughs> yeah, the one that he jumped off of the the Red Bull did the highest did the highest dive out of. Uh, oh, I remember that atmosphere. one too. Yeah, that Is was that, good. What you're talking about? No, this this regular guy. Got some satellite balloons and just launched air, and and then he had a BB gun with him, and he just shoot him down when he got too high. So, <laughs> but he went up. But all right, so uh, around eight forty five a.m. Sat, uh, what was it? Saturday, January third, at the farms, uh, they were preparing to get the horses out when they heard a loud crash. Now they contacted Samsung, and Samsung just said, "Yes, our device came back down to earth." Yeah, yes, like, thank you. Out of my yard. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been like, you know, show up with a with a briefcase full of cash. I know, yeah, right? I would have right? been like, my neck, my back, my neck. I'd be back. like, oh, I oh. want thirty three million dollars to get your salvage back. No. That's for property you, damage. See, you, you said billion 60, dollars wrong. Yeah, you always yeah. ask for sixty. You always ask for sixty nine million. Always sixty nine million. Uh-huh. Yeah, so after taxes, it's gonna be sixty or something. I don't yeah. Know. Uh, do we want to hear anything about political crap? We got some uh, Brunswick, Maine, and we have some Oregon news. If you guys want to hear about that, well, there was a dumpster fire in my neighborhood today. So what for what? Uh, uh, no, I, I was walking to go uh, to um, pay off my rent today, and so I, I was walking cards. to the post office. Or the Just walk by a dumpster fire. Well, it was right by my house, and it's like I, 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 I well, when I woke, was walking there, I smelt the smoke and thought someone was burning leaves or something in the backyard. And then I, it wasn't until I was walking back, and I saw behind the uh, uh, subway, and one of the dumpsters was literally just smoke coming out of the dumpster, and the dumpster was like starting to melt on the side. Oh no! And mm-hmm. So I finally, I finally was like, I was like, well, I guess I'll call the fire department, I guess, because you know I don't want to, you know, burn the place down, but. Bell they were Bell. like, "Yes, a dumpster is on fire." Yeah, they're like, uh, "There's a dumpster fire in Belleville." They're like, "It's and the same people." This is new, <laughs> right? It's the same people that did that uh, operate Samsung. Yeah. Like, your satellite <laughs> fell in my yard. Yes, a satellite came out of the sky. There's a dumpster on fire. Yes, yes. there is a dumpster on fire. I mean, the, the fire department came like a few minutes later. And they figured out they were just like, you know, I guess they, uh, I'm glad they had a boring slow day. I guess so they're just like, okay, I guess we'll show up to the dumpster fire and. Pull the hoses out, you know, put it out, whatever. They were they were kind of like very mundane, like mm. <laughs> another dumpster fire, another dumpster they fire. Just roll it on the street. Joe, <laughs> <laughs> <the street. laughs> Yo, what is your what is your caption per Aldo ad Astrala? What is that? Per Aldo ad Astra means through difficulties and to the stars. It's Latin. Oh wow! Well, look at you being all educational. <laughs> Evidently, oh, he's I'm an educated, educated man. That's yeah. Latin, no, dog. I'm, I'm not educated. Apparently, he's an educated man. He's not educated. <laughs> CEO of Treat Yourself. I, I love this. I'm learning more and more about the ad thing while we're talking. I can pull you guys up individually now. I love this. So but that's being brought in the principal's office for talking to. Yeah, Evan, hold on, Joe. Uh, hold on, forward, Joe. Stuff. <laughs> with his, with his, right. with his, with his uh, smart helmet on yeah my educational helmet <laughs> i love it dude all right let's start with I the oregon with goggles touching the touching the area yeah let's see uh, here joe you don't like this girl who's on here anyway okay here we go i'm sorry oregon students will no longer need to be proficient in reading writing and math to graduate because having standards to graduate disproportionately harms students of color dang What's up with all these books? <laughs> I think hey, we're going backwards in time. Yeah, I couldn't believe oh, wow. it, so I, so I looked this up, right? And apparently, this has been going on since 2020. Yeah. 
Would you like to do more? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Oregon State Board of Education and not unanimously decided back in 2020 to uh, have a non-proving uh, thing for graduates where they don't need to prove that they know basic mastery of reading, writing, and arithmetic until 2029. The movie so Idiocracy was not supposed to be a documentary. Yeah, exactly. I know, right? I know. Exactly. Yeah. Data spiders spot on. Yeah, no, they're dumping everybody down now. Well, you, and yeah. you know that Portland, Portland uh, decriminalized a lot of drugs. So yeah, it's one of the like most drug fueled cities in America now. Yeah, See, I'm moving to Oregon. What? Oh. <laughs> but and, and also and also, uh, I think as of like. Three to four years ago, prior to that, you could not pump your own gas. In yeah. Oregon? Yeah. Yeah. Or anywhere. Well, in or- yeah. In Oregon. No, in Oregon. In Oregon. No, in Oregon, if you wanted gas, you had to have somebody what pump happens? your gas they, for you. They get mad at you or something? It's full service oh, gas. Full station. service. <laughs> full, yeah, full service, like the old days. You get mad and you're like, yeah, you. <laughs> it's, like, it's like that in New Jersey. New Jersey's like that. You can't pump your own gas in New Jersey. Yeah. Well, and the last time I was in Maine, I pull up in this gas station, which was kind of like a it's kind of like a Loves or a Pilot, you know. Which and uh, to gas up my car that I was renting, and this kid just comes out of nowhere on me, and he's like, "Hey, how you doing?" I'm like, "Hey, so, Look away from my car." How you That's doing? All I'm doing. I mean, you, you almost <laughs> got feel. Especially if you're from St. Louis, someone comes up on your car, you're like. No. Yeah. Away, I, mean, that's I know, I know that, already uh, know where this is coming from. Yeah, just when you—that's how you get that kick to the chest, like like in three hundred. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this is my car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, don't people realize that St. Louisans have that history? Like, metals. people come up to your car, yeah. you're like. We already know where this is going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just want to. Yeah, I mean, away. and you know, I kind of looked at him. I mean, he was wearing like high vis gear, and you know, he had a little signature on the thing, a little sign on his high vis gear. I'm like, okay, you work here. What's yeah. up, man? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, I was gonna pump the gas for you. Is, how do you, know, you know he's supposed to wear? He could have been dressed up and had that from him when he was fired. Yeah, there's like a three or four of them like walking mm-hmm. around there. Yeah. So. Hello, hello. My name is Daniel. I'm here to carjack you today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also made me think of the uh, the jerk when uh, when he's like working at the gas station. Oh my yeah. god, he was so cool. The cans oh, are exploding. The cans are exploding. So Get away from the cans. My favorite yeah, scene in the jerk. My favorite yeah. scene in the jerk is when he's sitting there and he's like. I'm not going to ask you for the money. I'm just going to show you what the money's for or something like that. So he opens up this book and shows it to him. And he's like screaming as he's writing out this check. Steve Martin's just like, ah, ah. And he's writing out this check as he's screaming. <laughs> Hands it to the guy. That's a great movie. Hey, baby. I gotta go watch that movie again yep. now. Need you to help I, I, I think it's on Netflix. I think. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, speaking of Maine, you were talking about Maine, right? Here we go. Sorry for the loudness. Oh, I bet the people in Maine love this. Oh, free rent for some migrants in Maine. Taxpayers there are footing the bill for new apartments built specifically for these newly arrived border crossers. Not only a free roof over their heads, they have at least, wait for it, two years worth of rent paid for. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. (laughs) So who's going to pay my rent? I know, right? Must be fucking nice. Well, look, go to Venezuela and walk 3,000 miles (laughs) to fucking Mexico. Yeah, no, I'm good. I heard stories already. And then you get two years of free rent. In Maine. Well, that bill, in the, bill, Maine. <laughs> the bill that they so, passed. Did you already uh, hear like the Texas government already shipped like another plane full to Chicago? Yeah, that's <laughs> what I want, hey, yeah. we didn't send you a bus. I sent my private plane. Here you yeah. go. Well, you yeah, know, that, that's their thing. Them down, all to the, yeah. down to Texas. Yeah. Chicago was shipping them down to Texas. Texas is flying them back. Yeah, yeah, it's like you can you, you can bust them down here. We're gonna get them back three times faster, asshole. Yeah, <laughs> but this but here's, the, here's the thing, though. Everybody's like, "Well, immigration's not a problem." It's like go to an immigration state, and you'll find out how much of a problem it is. Yeah, 
So this is this comes from Brunswick, Maine. Okay, so they're spending three point five million dollars of taxpayers' money, both federal and uh, um, you know state. state of uh, to build this. It is called the Asylum for Seeking Apartment Complex. I have a question. Oh no, I'm sorry. Asylum Seeking Apartment Complex. Is what what, where are they getting that money? I just said federal and state taxes. <laughs> so so th nice. that's not going to the welfare of yeah. their own Jesus people. Jesus Christ, Chappie. You should have got on when you're supposed to get on. Sorry. But I mean, it's only it's <laughs> only almost over, you know. Thanks for thanks Oh, for never that. mind. No, She's don't get me wrong. in I mean, here. If, yeah, if I've anybody... been trying to call you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> call you for half an hour, you I'm mother. sorry. I'm like sitting here in the waiting room and it's nothing. Well, yeah. Chappie, that's you like a doctor's <laughs> office. I'm on the the for half an hour. That, yeah, you gotta wait and read the magazines. <laughs> hey, hey, Chappie, you don't have a slogan. There's, there's nothing under your name. That's why you're not Do in London. need a slogan? I'm on the podcast. <laughs> She's doing something, mom. <laughs> She's going, what, Abby? What? What? Mom, I want to see the Popeye. Mom, meatloaf. Mom. Meatloaf. Oh, I want to see Go fix me a Popeye. No starving, Marvin. That's Kenny's cream corn. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, now like this. Okay, so they, they heard they're going to cover the rent up. for two years. And that housing authority. So you already know that that's state yeah. as well. So there you go. Look, but if you ever go to Maine, if you ever go to Maine, Maine is a beautiful state. Oh God, yeah. So, uh, I, 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 so, I, I will, the blue, the I will say this. There is a yeah. large part of Maine that has not been really, you know, lived out because there's mm -hmm. still like a lot of wilderness in Maine. Like whole, oh yeah. Like, so I, I will give them. They Maine. have plenty of room. Unlike okay, Chicago. but still though, uh, like, Joe Joe made a good point. Me and Joe talked about this the, like yesterday or this morning, and he goes, "What about like veterans? Do they get free rent?" Yeah. No. So here's the thing: in the tiny houses, they do. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Tiny yeah. yeah, they have a bunch of so, tiny house communities in the city. But, uh, so they don't get an so apartment; I, they get a tiny house. So get yeah. a tiny house. you know what? It's <laughs> actually pretty doggone good. Yeah, I that's, think that's very nice. nice. Well, I think Maine might have a, love, a little bit more room in their state than we could do here in Illinois. Yeah. So can't well, they just I mean, do rearrange space too, things? Yeah, no, it's all good. Things, that's, because, you know? that's because Illinois has a 580 credit score. I know, right? <laughs> it's actually Missouri who I was talking about having the tiny houses. St. Louis is getting ready to happen for mm -hmm. the veterans. Um, well, yeah, I mean, I I mean, you know, you and you know what? I think that I think that if they so are these they're sending them north to Maine? Is these people coming in from Canada or people coming in from like Mexico? I don't. They weren't Southern? specific. They weren't specific. Because I mean, to be quite honest with you, I mean, I think they're sending them to the north. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's sending a them to the north, hoping that they'll go into Canada. Mm. No, 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 no. These these are all staying in the United States, and even the bills that they keep coming up with will yeah. allow three million to still cross per year. Well, if it's so. if it's a tiny home, can't they just you know, you know, hook it up to the back of their like 1987 Winnebago? Yeah, and just drive it somewhere <laughs> just else. Go. I want a Winnebago. <laughs> All right, on that note, let's try to do another uh, commercial break here. Fire. play today isn't he he's gonna be good oh, so it this guy this is a real person though right yeah this is coco, coco. yeah real you can, yeah you can find his stuff on youtube <laughs> I mean, 
Back to the mini houses. I Wait, hold on, hold on. This is funny. What is she doing over here? She's just... Well, she's been trying to get into the podcast for the past 45 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so I go, I'm like, okay, I'm going to get in because everybody's leaving now. And I'm like, okay, I'll go upstairs and I'll get on the podcast. And it's like, you're waiting backstage. So I text the group being like, hey, I'm let me in. And I call Polly and I see him looking down at a cell phone and then look back up and keep talking. That's like, just crap. I call him the second time and he goes, if you wanted in, you should have came in a half hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and then I happened to look down. I'm like, oh, shit, she's in stage. She's backstage. Oh, shit. Sorry. Yeah, see, I try to join the crew and I get freaking <laughs> chastised. Yeah. Welcome to my life, Chappie. Oh, uh, yeah, we had we had a nice blow up before, <laughs> before this. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's up. All right, here we go. Check this one out. Ready? I'm going to just sit right. here under my table and. <laughs> yeah, here we go. All right, here we go. Sorry for the loudness. Sharon, so talk to us a little bit how this plan is actually going to work. Well, Chris and Marcus, good morning. Yes, the chosen ambassadors will be paid not to shoot people, believe it or not. The city is launching the pilot program in October, paying people $300 a month to not commit crimes. The goal is to reduce gun violence. It will start with 10 people who want to change their lives and become community ambassadors. Participants will have to pass an interview. The Human Rights Commission says the idea has been shown to be a cost-effective way to reduce gun crimes in other cities. So can I, can I go to California? Buy a gun. Go to California. <laughs> so I, I, I already have this planned out. Buy a gun, go to California, become an ambassador, get three hundred dollars a month. There you go. No, there's yeah, more than that. Three hundred dollars, three hundred dollars a month in California, get like buys you like a loaf of bread. I mean, I know, right? I, <laughs> yeah. But so this is it, okay? So I, I did some research on this, and I was kind of pissed. I hate old news. This is from two thousand twenty-one. <laughs> So they're already <laughs> they're already paying motherfuckers. Yeah, Here we go. So uh, September 21st is when they first initiated this to to be rolled out in October for San Francisco. All right. It's oh, called that, the that, Dream. That, that explains it already. Never mind. You it's could just called drop the it Dream there. Keeper Fellowship. Now, if you guys uh, remember from previous episodes, Dream Keeper Fellowship came up before where they were trying to do something else, which was the um slavery reparations or something for san francisco that's the same team that's doing this so they targeted 10 notorious high-risk gun criminals and then offered them a monthly gift card of an unknown amount plus dollars because that's no 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 plus 300 dollars for staying out of trouble that's where the 300 dollars you see come in but the unknown gift card could be thousands of dollars right yeah, I mean, because like three hundred dollars to them is like a splash in the bucket when you're living. Yeah, there. Mm-hmm. yeah. They get a plus plus the the could, It could also that. be a gift card to like Sabaro or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a restaurant out of, out of yeah, out of business restaurant. Yeah. So here's, here's the other part that your, I think is funny. Here's your like, Quiznos gift card. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the gift card to Toys R Us. What? You remember, um, like, uh, well, you guys all know video games, right? And then you yeah. do special things. In, video, in games? video games? I've never heard of them. And yeah, you do these special game. things in video games to get different things, right? Yeah. Um, yeah so, what? GTA. So mm-hmm. you tell yeah, so you like a size size yeah, yeah. So you have these benchmarks like you have in video games. Well, this program also contains benchmarks, and for each ben- benchmark you do, it starts at two hundred and goes up in price for the different benchmarks that you accomplish within this program. So to go straight, you might make fucking thousands of dollars. I'm I'm sorry, I only winged the guy. I didn't really shoot him. (laughs) Yeah. So, okay. So with that said, this is funded by federal and state taxpayers and a few private and private entities. And it's only for the black communities. So if you're white, Latino or anything else in, in, in San Francisco, you're not going to get any of this. It's only for still not enough. It's still not enough to make me want to move to California. I call it. (laughs) California. Damn. I know. I like how all the celebrities are leaving they California. They just need now. to make a GTA yeah. San Francisco. Just saying. Well, they, so, they, already made, they already made a game that was similar to that. It's Watch Dogs. <laughs> and they're all yeah. in Texas. Watch Dogs 2 is set in, the, in like San Francisco and Oakland Bay Area. There you go. Uh, but now they said 10 people, right? Well, that was in October of 2021. 
It is now up to over 75 people. (laughs) Yeah. 75. 75 criminals now get paid not to cause criminality or criminal, whatever that word is. Okay. On to where the next one is. Um, You guys want to hear some fun facts about Dolly Parton? Yes, um, I, I, I've been to Dolly World. Kind of cool. Yep. I she ever pose nude? No. No, uh, no but not. she does have her picture on the front of Playboy, but not a nude. Oh, that yeah, was a go. switch and bait if I ever saw one. Yeah. What yeah, is Dolly? Yeah, this is not mad. a fun fact. This is more like trivia fun fact. Uh, what is Dolly Parton's favorite fast food? White Castle. I mean, mine's In and Out Burger. <laughs> well, she's from Tennessee. She's from Tennessee, so Raising I'll say either McDonald's or Zaxby's. Zaxby's. Wow. Zaxby's. What do you think? I don't know. Like, I'm not too familiar with it. There we go. How is that? Taco Bell. Taco Steven, Bell. Her outfit even matches her. <laughs> she accessorized the box. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, it's like the same shade purple yeah. as the box. You man. know, you know, I got a lot of <laughs> flowers respect. in the background, and uh, I got a lot more respect. Honey, for her. you may just make some pizza bad. <laughs> you made it all wrong. Of, of Dolly on like one of those uh, late night talk shows, and she said uh, that she was like one of nine children or something like that. Oh yeah, she grew up huh. poor. And, yeah, and they were like, and they were like, oh, so you guys are Catholic too? And she's like, no, nah, we're just horny hillbillies. Oh, nice. She's gonna write a song about taco pizza, guys. Probably. She's gonna That'd have their new, uh, their new, uh, you know, uh, uh, what is it? What's it called? Jingle. She's gonna write the jingle. There you song. go. I'm actually mm-hmm. jumping the gun. I have one more thing to bring up. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. Uh, sorry to cut this 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 short about this, but you know, as much as I like Dolly Parton, uh, th- this is the last one on here. Mr. Speaker, Walgreens is planning to close yet another pharmacy in the Massachusetts 7th, this time on Warren Street in Roxbury, a community that is 85% black and Latino. This closure is a part of a larger trend of abandoning low-income communities like the previous closures in Mattapan and Hyde Park, both in the Massachusetts 7th. When a Walgreens leaves... So this is my, this is my, actually, when I'm bringing this up for real, guys, for, let me get off Dolly Parton, that's weird looking. So like, people just like come in there and steal from them and leave? Well, no, the, everybody, that's, that's been going on everywhere from Walmarts to whatever. But the problem is, is that are Walgreens they, is like the fucking pharmaceutical place. Are they, it depends. Are they stealing? Who? What are we, what are are we stealing? stealing? Are they stealing? No, I, they did steal. What are they doing? No, no. I meant like, here's my thing. Okay. I, got I a get it. Theory. Crime is up everywhere. I get it. When when 2020 when we came all back to work, I get it that a lot of people just started like fucking going to town. Like the trains, it, it, everything, it, Amazons. They they just said it's it, a free for all. It might. But do you think closing down these places? So like is here's, helpful. Here's the thing. It okay, depends yeah, on the I, area. It well, all depends on the control. area. I mean, I don't they're, know. Shoot, they're closing I down. I have a conspiracy theory. Tell us, Joe. I okay. There's a there's a rumor going around that when stores start to fail to perform, but uh, to the is uh, he the, choppy the or is it just me? He's starting to get He's choppy. Okay, okay. Continue, Joe. Is this, is this better, guys? Sorry. No, no. It's probably your driving or reception. I don't know. Okay. Basically, Continue. what they're saying is these underperforming stores, ever since the pandemic hit. They're finding ways to close them by saying that they're raided. And some people are saying, because, you know, the cops down as they're stealing stuff and then they're never arrested, that that this this is kind of a, um, a stage event to basically. Oh, they're robbing them on purpose? Them. Yeah. I'm down. I, yeah. These are paid actors. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Domare Joseph missed it. Okay. Uh, no, I get yeah, because it. Because actually, according to the uh, U.S. Uh, statistics or whatever, murder and property damage and property uh, is actually all down again this year. that makes sense it could be it could be just be for gentrification and all this other bullshit okay that's enough about that um this is one thing i have to say i'm not making myself clear i don't give a fuck <laughs> <laughs> i don't man i'm sorry we're talking about super bowl now okay let me get up the super bowl picture here oh taylor's no. boyfriend's playing yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah, say, yeah, where's whatever. Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl? We need a picture. Yeah. She actually might not make it. 
Oh, I think she will. Wow. Well, no, no, well, Taylor no, she's Swift supposed to be like in China or something, yeah. right? She's in Tokyo, but they're Tokyo, ahead of us. Yeah. They're, they're, they're ahead of us. They're a day ahead of us. That uh, could yeah. be, could be, yeah. And if she yeah, makes it on actually, a flight, she actually, could make it. A, there's actually a gambling a line in Las Vegas whether or not Taylor Swift's going to make it or not. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, I don't know who She'll Taylor be on the Swift big, is, the big projector screen staring at the players. Tokyo's like, like I mean, come on, she just told you us. she'll hop on a private jet, you know. I just yeah. hope that Jason Kelsey in shows up so that we can She's watch gonna fly him go in. mad at his brother. She's going to fly up in a helicopter in a stadium. You Did know, we lose I appreciate, there I appreciate Jason Kelsey a lot. Jason Kelsey's yeah. my hero. He's my yes, favorite Kelsey brother. He is showing the world that dad bods are in and it is my time to show. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so there's I got there's some... going to be a helicopter. There's gonna be a helicopter flying in, guys, and then and then Taylor will set set down on on the field. I got I got some things I need to get off my chest. Okay, I want San Francisco to win because they haven't won a Super Bowl since when? No, 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 no. 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 I'm not a fan with Chiefs KC, all the way. Okay? Chiefs all the way. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I don't care who. If they win, it's okay. But I mean, three in a row. I kind of want someone else to win. That's all. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's really stupid that time? they keep being good. You know, you know what happened? <laughs> How dare um, they be good? I mean, come on. Yeah. The last time the Chiefs somebody and, else uh, chance. the 49ers went to the Super Bowl? The yeah, it was in 2020. Down. The country closed down a um, month later. Yeah, so that's what they're saying. There's there's a there's yeah, conspiracy down, theory so. out that 2020 was when uh, Trump and Biden ran, right? Chiefs won, so that meant Biden wins. So if the the um, Niners win, that means Trump wins. What? Yeah, no. okay. yeah, because I I base politics on a football game. Yeah. Same here. So this segment is actually called "It Ain't No Super Bowl Party Until Someone Brings a Seven Layer Dip." <laughs> okay, then. I got some fun trivia about Super and Bowl. The bad, th- the bad thing is, I can I know somebody who's bringing a seven layer dip to a Super Bowl party. It's not me. But I do know somebody I like who is. I love you. Smoking ribs. What's wrong with seven nice. Ribs? He's smoking ribs, dude. We're going to be Dism's house. Fuck the other dude. The other game. The other party. The other people. Yeah, you're going, those you're words. Going Tom's? No, you're not special going to Tom's. Uh, if I go to Tom's, I'm gonna tell, tell Joe and Scott I'm gonna live stream from there when I eat the <laughs> award winning uh, chicken. Jeez. Yeah, I'll, I'll be streaming on Paul. Sunday. Wings I'm gonna play some bad football, I think. There you go. That sounds fun. Dude, we need to get on. Yeah, go to uh uh what is it, Jaded Spider at Twitch TV. Yeah, thanks for coming by the other day, Joe. Oh yeah, I oh, dude, wow. anytime Joe I- was there. We're I shitty. was there. Y'all was there. We never went there. What? <laughs> to his Twitch stream. <laughs> yeah. He showed up on Tuesday. I was, and I was like, like, you know, you know, where's that poly guy? I was in the Taco Bell them. lobby picking up an order. And that's when I was just like, hey, let me, let me, let me on hop Tuesday? on. No, no, I'm on making a joke because Joe went to go see uh, uh, um, um, those words. Yeah. Jade Spider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, okay, actually, here we go. I'm <clears> my streaming <throat> times now. I'm actually streaming from uh, 6 p.m. to uh, 9 p.m. Cool. Nice. Groovy. Except tonight. Uh, yeah, it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. Oh, what okay. you just witnessed is a miscellaneous podcast. Shameless plug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking about that, I got to get the uh, the sound. We get, we're bringing back the um, treat yourself, dude. I need that back. We want that back. <laughs> so, do you want that back? Here's some it, trivia. It, okay, it, 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 it will happen. I will. Good. I will just tell Good. you guys. That the reason I disappeared was because I had to change into my pajamas. And y'all missed it. Yeah, okay. Diapers. So <laughs> here's, <laughs> okay, cool. Here's a here's a trivia question <laughs> for you guys. Super Bowl has gone into what ever. Whatever? No, I'm sorry. This is I wrote this wrong. Okay. That was a good question, Paul. <laughs> has that was in Super English Bowl with the wrong order. Were you high when you wrote that question? (laughs) I I think it was. Has Super Bowl (laughs) ever gone into blank ever? Overtime? Overtime? Yes, Yes. it has. Yes, it has. 28-3, to to Tom Brady versus the Atlanta Falcons. That's correct. 2017. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now, here's another one. This has only happened one time during a Super Bowl game in 57 games. What was it? The opening kickoff was returned for a touchdown by Devin Hester. No. 
<laughs> Janet Jackson's tit was out. No. Yes. Yeah. That's only that happened true. one time. <laughs> that's that's true. Happened okay. Okay. Vedisms and yours are very true, but this is not the answer for this, this question. This is not the answer we're looking for. <laughs> this has gone south real quick. <laughs> Taylor Swift, Swift is dating one of the tight ends for the, uh, you know, green teams. <laughs> yeah. Um, rain. Rain has, I should have put weather or something, but yeah, rain has only happened one time during a Super Bowl game, and that was 2007 when Peyton Manning won the Super Bowl. Wasn't there, there, didn't, they didn't, there, wasn't, there wasn't rain when they played that one in Jersey? I don't know. Yeah. But I will say this. This is when Prince did the halftime video, the halftime show. Oh, I remember that. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember that. Solo- Fire. <laughs> what the hell is that? So All right. <laughs> what happened? That was that was Coco. All right. Um First time. Uh, so so the thing I loved about this is I, I remember seeing the ba- behind the scenes of the Prince halftime thing where they didn't want to go out the dancers because it was raining and he was all like, I'm going out in heels. We are all going out and dancing. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, speaking, of, speaking of foosball, uh, did you hear about the uh, the possibility of the uh, Big Ten and the SEC in college football leaving the uh, NCAA? Really? Informing their own league. Oh, Ooh, wow. Uh, huh. They're just, they're, just, they're just so sick of the, 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 the NCAA just, you know, not being able to do the yeah. job. So yeah. They're just, they're just going to you know, try to split uh, and just do their own shit. That's crazy. i like to see how that goes down. Uh, here's some trivia. Here's some fun facts. Okay, uh, here we go. What are the top three most popular foods on Super Bowl Sunday? Chips, chicken uh, wings, in, in Missouri, it's chicken wieners. Chicken wings Raising is number canes. two. Raising canes. Chicken, <laughs> chicken wings is number two. Number three is burgers. What Chips is number dip. one? Chips and dip. wieners. Mm-mm, that's fourth. Chips wow. and dip is pizza. Number one. Oh, okay. that's right. Pizza would be a big thing. It's going to be 12.5 million pizzas sold on Super Bowl. And that's just three. Then it's um, 198 million of frozen pizzas. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, guys, did you know this Super Bowl is going to be very political? You're going to see a lot of Biden ads. Did you know that? Yeah, I hope not. I, won't I don't, I don't, I don't want no po- politics. Fuck the politics inside of football. I want to. I want to see Budweiser. I'm sorry. Kiss they bought a lot politics. of Bud. Why? Why? Er, One point three billion dollars will be spent this year in beer alone mm, for Super Bowl. Beer. That's a lot of beer. Two hundred twenty-four million in various chips for your chips and dip. Start drinking. Oh, we got now. some pecan praline uh sipping cream which is a uh, holy cow wow pecan praline pecan sipping? praline sipping cream huh is that like bailey's but not it's uh made by canada select huh it's whiskey i was like and you're living in texas you're have you ever had screwball oh yeah Pe- had- yeah the peanut butter oh that's good oh it's so good if you get if you mix the uh the screwball with uh grape vodka, you get a peanut butter jelly. Oh wow. Oh, that makes oh, sense. Mix it, mix it with uh, mix it with banana rum and you get an Elvis Presley. There you yeah. go. Uh, 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 this is for Tom. Three wait, thirteen million dollars are spent on veggie trays. Tom nice. always buys oh. a fucking veggie tray for anything from any holiday, a anything tray. he gets a, he brings a veggie tray. Yep. Yeah. It's like it's Martin Luther King Day. Here's a veggie, veggie tray. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, Arbor Day. Veggie tray. Whenever they're used, some of them are <laughs> yeah. donated. Uh, I know, dude. Yeah, that was. So <laughs> he went to this church, donated thing, right, and then tray. took it back home with them, and he didn't buy it. It was somebody else's, and then he kept giving it out for like the holidays. Wilted, wilted fruits and vegetables. <laughs> oh, so mm. gross. Very you guys wilted. want some old broccoli? Here you guys you go. enjoy your radishes. <laughs> The average person who watches is going to eat 120 grams of fat. That's 2,400. That's that's about 2,400 calories just for the sitting of the Super Bowl. Hey, don't throw me with a good time. Yeah. 188.5 million people are expected to watch this year. So that should be good. I won't be one of them. All right. But really, Um, because like everyone, like, 
statistically football has just been down. But yeah, the Super Bowl. Well, they're bringing back some weird commercials. They said this year. I already saw the Paramount one, and that seems kind of cool. So, is that the McCard one? Yeah, where he launches. The- <laughs> That was just like, weird. The baby. It was. The, yeah, the, the yeah. baby. <laughs> he said, it's so weird, dude. Hell yeah. Dude, you look um, like you're wearing a koofy. Oh, this is my uh, soccer hat. It looks like a koofy. See, soccer? Not anymore. Now, yeah. now it looks like a hat. It looks yeah. nice. I like a that. Hat. I'm jealous. Oh, dude, this thing cost me $200. Don't be jealous, okay? This is the... What? You go what, to the fucking... Dude? Yeah, we went no, to the no, damn no, game. No, 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 no. Yeah. You need to be hurt. <laughs> no, no, you, you think, you think okay, here's here's what happened. Okay, I'm sorry, it's not 200, it was like a hundred. But uh, we went to the soccer Still, game, holy we got fuck. a jersey for her, she wanted an actual jersey, jersey, and that was like a hundred. Well, how much was that? 200 bucks or something. Mm-hmm. And then I had a hat and I saw the bill, and I was like, I think I'm gonna swallow my nuts. I mean, I just lost, <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, <laughs> we got. We got drinks there, and the only way to go is to get uh, sodas because it's like twenty dollars a pop, but it's unlimited soda. Where if you get alcohol, it's like fifty dollars a fucking cup. It's it's horrible. <laughs> when you go to these games, they're fun as fuck. The food is really good, but it it costs a lot. Yeah, I have, I got the street tacos when we went there. They were actually really good. You were also, you know, it's funny. You were complaining about standing the whole time. We stood the whole time too. I don't think anyone sat fucking down there, man. Well, well, the thing is, you actually you had the option of sitting during, you know, during like you know, like you know, the there's a, there's a flag or they're doing a review or you could sit down. We didn't have that yeah. option. We were in the fan section. There were no seats. Mm-hmm. No, there were absolutely no seats. In every the fan soccer, section. every soccer game I go to, I have my own private seat, so I'm I'm good. I'm good. What is this one? Don't feel bad about me. There it is. Okay. <laughs> what is this one? I don't know this one. I'm trying to like get rid of these two as we're talking. So all right. Uh we do do this one. But no, I, I'm with you. You get to sit down and everything like okay. So here we go. For the 30 second ad, how much do you think it's gonna run this year? Oh five hundred like million jillion dollars. How much do you think? Mm-hmm. Six hundred bitcoin. Uh, fifty more million. than I'll make in a lifetime. <laughs> I know. Bdism is the closest. It's seven million dollars is the average. So wow. you could be right. Eight to nine is like for the most expensive ones uh, because it also goes with seating during the, the show. Oh, yeah. with, with <laughs> so the yeah, new I'm state fine. farm commercial that's coming out, which is a movie apparently that Arnold says is uh, in the first half or the first quarter, I mean, and they paid a lot of money for that one. So well, there that's you go. Because if it's a blowout, where like, is this streaming? Know, quarter, this year, Paul? No one's gonna watch is it, it streaming? I don't know. Um, Paramount Plus. Yeah, Paramount, Paramount Plus. Plus. Thank you. Yeah, it's CBS and Paramount Plus is where World be aired. Yeah, or and, it's on you know TV. Yeah. TV? yeah. <laughs> no, no, free no. TV. I got an Love antenna. That. I got CBS. a free free antenna TV, but I also like to there see if it's streaming too. Hmm. Um. What was it? Uh. The Hootie Kai. Um. So there, there was a lot of videos on about how expensive it is to go to Vegas to watch this, right? They talked. They broke it down. You can look up all on social media. They broke down the hotel room pl- prices, the when you're eating there, etc. But do you know what the cheapest seat is for the Super Bowl? How much it costs? Give a guess. About, Bono, about Bono that. from I YouTube. I think it's like thirteen thousand dollars, wasn't it? Mm. No. I uh, think. What did you say, BDism? About eighteen grand. All right. No. Uh, and uh, Joe, what did you say? I said Bono's free seat since he plays and he's like a resident there that plays. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm going with seven. Uh, I said I said ten grand. Seven K. You're you're the closest right there, uh Jaded. Uh it's four thousand four hundred and eighty-nine dollars for one seat for the cheapest seat. You guys are all talking about the regular seating. The cheapest seat is like way the fuck up there where no one yeah. can see you seat, you know? Four hundred yeah. level seats. Oh well the uh, you know the you know the close seats are selling for like thirty six thousand. Well, you know, we, we, where you get to your seats and you have vertigo, you ever get those seats up in, uh, in the in, in the dome in uh, St. Louis where it's like this very, very top row and you get like vertigo? It's mm-hmm. really so steep. Yep. Yeah. Like those. All right. We'll do one more commercial break and you then can, I got one more thing to say. Shave the person in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> Fire. How about the How about the Who? Come on! 
That's a come on. Bad start, man. All right, let's game fucking play out. Let's go! Let's go, D. You just had to know. You just had to fucking know. A big third down now. Oh, how do you go down from that? God, what the fuck are we doing? I don't like this. Oh, I love it! A good fucking throw, Jared. That's what I'm fucking talking about. See that shit? Oh my god, you guys just can't fucking tackle. You're fucking professional athletes. What the fuck? No penalties, no penalties, no penalties, no penalties, no penalties, no penalties, no more penalties, man. I really, I really hope he doesn't get money every time we play that. No, he I mean, maybe. I don't know. But you know, like every time his song is played, he gets like a nickel and like motherfucker. <laughs> Probably He's like gonna be on the show. Next quarter week, of a though. cent or something. Yeah. <laughs> like I, you know, <laughs> he has other ones. I'll have to play the other ones too. No, no right. there's no need. No need. <laughs> oh no, he does compilations with other people too. Oh, yeah, great! Featuring, yeah. you know, featuring yeah, yeah. Eminem. Uh, oh, he, he, he had he had the free version of uh, you know, Freebird, where he just like you know mumbles to means Freebird. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, last story. This is all for you gun lovers out there. Okay, I don't know why. Well, I just pew, 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 at the end of January, uh, TSA gave out a report about how many guns that they took from the skies. I never knew this. Did you know this? Oh, yeah. It's, it's like never still so that common were... that people like bring their guns to the airport and then they get shocked when their guns get confiscated. You yeah. Know, like, uh, apparently, are you? they I do that. Have, I got to have my safety security gun. It's my uh, emotional support gun. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But that sounds like <laughs> it, okay? 6,542 <laughs> firearms. Uh, from around 262 different airports were confiscated last year. Yeah, not talking at all. 95% really of them were loaded. I mean, we have to take our bloody shoes off to get on an airplane, well, but you're going to be a screwed gun their... to the fucking airport. Well, they were loaded? What's it good to have a gun if it's not loaded? That's right. Really yes, they were that... loaded. Really 95% of though. them were loaded in their in their suitcases. Oh, my gun's always loaded, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but if you figure that out, that's like 20 a day. It's not That's... that many. Oh my god, just one a day well, is yeah. too many, dude. I mean, who in the right fucking mind goes to an airport with a gun? Look, <laughs> it's just... apparently <laughs> six thousand four hundred. You have to take your shoes minute. off to walk into the airplane. <laughs> Why would you bring a gun? You can't bring a water bottle this freaking size. Wait, you bring a gun? <laughs> Get the fuck off the planet, man! Come on. No, I'm you're, I'm not saying it's not wrong. <laughs> Get I'm not saying it's planet. wrong. What I'm saying is it's not that many when you consider how many fucking people fly. What is too many? You're too dumb. Get the fuck off the planet, man. I'm not saying this. Dude, I'm not saying this. 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 Your neighbors hate you right many. now. What the hell's going on over there? Oh, oh, my God. God. Can you know, we please... Polly, can I please that have that millions... clip just for TikTok, just of him being going straight up Don Vito? <laughs> we got we got to talk about this after the show anyway. Because, no, when you consider yeah. that there are millions of people that fly, and they caught how many again? Twenty how many guns? Yeah. <laughs> Seven thousand. Six thousand. Yeah. Shit, I gotta get my show. Thirty-eight thousand or whatever. Wasn't. It? Can we just review back the tape? Hold on a second. This is sixty-five hundred. Fire. I wonder, I wonder.
I have the figures right here. Six thousand. All right. If you, can, yeah, if you consider how many people travel, and they found six thousand something, it's not that bad. I mean, no, yes, because... it's bad that they brought guns into an airport. People yes. Like, but I mean, yeah, people eat Tide Pods. Wait, that's your go-to, Chappie. You've been saying that lately. People eat yeah, Tide but Pods, Paul. But that, yeah, that I mean, most look, people deserve to die. It's like, you know, well, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, let me, know. let me, say, I'm not saying that it's not bad. What I'm saying is when you consider how many people actually travel, how many millions of people travel to find 6,500 isn't that much. I know, but still, it's to like, have a loaded gun that's like, in the fucking in your suitcase going in the back of the plane. Right. I'm right. they hit a weird I'm, fucking I'm agreeing air. It you. could go off. I'm know? agreeing with you. I'm saying that finding the guns is good. I'm just saying that I mean, why brag about sixty five hundred? I mean, that's oh, like, you're that's like, like saying those are amateur numbers. Well, you come yeah, from well, Texas. No, what, no, what I'm saying is, is like, he's, like, well, he's in Texas. He's like, I got that many in my trunk. What do you got? <laughs> yeah, I've, got I've got that many on my desk. That's, what do you? That's on my desk for work. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, we found 6,500. Congratulations. You know, 87 million tons of cocaine like made it into this into the country this yeah. year. Yeah. You didn't find that. Oh, that was dude. That was another thing too. They're talking about. Thank God you found that gun. Woo! There, there was. What was that when you sent me? Millions of dollars did the Pentagon lose this year? Yeah, uh, Jamie (laughs) sent me. Oh, sorry, Kira sent me. Sorry, BDism. But uh, Kira sent me um, this thing about how, like, how is it that you know the the photographs taken when you're speeding are all blurry and shit, but they can get a digital fucking copy if you going down a fucking roller coaster. At like you know? 40, 55 miles per hour, clear as day. Yeah. yeah. It's all about the quality of camera, man. But no, you know, you're right. The uh, the number of guns, it's good. But yeah, I, I, I can see what both of you guys are saying. Uh, I'm not trying to say that to uh, make it all <laughs> common here. I want you guys to yell, uh, yell it. But um, no, it just, it stunned me that they were fucking mostly loaded. That freaked me out. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that's that's not shocking. I mean, they're loaded. I mean, that's, you know, if you're going to be carrying a gun around, it's going to be loaded. Well, you know, you know, no, no. Why would you? How stupid are you to carry a loaded gun that might have the. How uh, stupid are you to hey, bring a gun Molly? to the airport? That too. That that too. Those people okay, on I, will, I will tell you fighting this. People. <laughs> no, no, no. You forgot. We live in America. And Hold on. Hold on. I will tell you this. The U.S. of all. Hold on. I will. Uh. I will tell you this. When I when I uh, was living in Illinois, I had my wife at the time, and I won't say her name, pack Ooh. my bag because we were going to Chicago. And I know she who this packed is. my gun in my bag, and I didn't know it. So no I mean, it. Shit. Yes, it does happen. Wow. But I mean, okay. I had a. Well, no, she I wanted you to die. That's why. I, well, oh, I mean, she I had was. Per- <laughs> yeah, she wanted me to die. She, gun? she packed Olga my packed gun. Her gun. Yeah, she straight up packed my gun. Yes. Did she put it in like a zip, the zipper bag thing, or did she just like fold it? it in no, bag? it was just like sitting on top of my shirt. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> It'll last if we go down. Was it loaded? It was loaded. Yeah. But I mean, I but I, I had you know they got I had a license. They got from water bottle and they took the water bottle too. Well, it wasn't the, it, it wasn't that bad then, but. It was, yeah, it. but she did. She packed my bag and she packed my gun because I always went X-Y? everywhere with my gun. Yeah, it's yes. one of his ex yes, it is. from his piles of women. <laughs> one, one of his ex wives. How many do you have? Now I'm curious. Well, oh, I have one. Gosh. I have one ex. He really has one, and that was bad enough for him. But yeah, he has Exodia. <laughs> yeah. The forbidden one. The forbidden. Not going to put these in. It'll be funny. Oh well. All right, everybody. Um, I think it's time we we uh, ditch this popsicle stand. What do you guys think? I like popsicles. Yeah, yeah. popsicles. Yeah, popsicles. He likes to suck on things. popsicles. I like the great popsicles. I, I am. I'm not gonna make a comment on that because it can go anywhere with Polly. <laughs> All right, everybody. I want to thank you very much for listening to the show. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for watching it on YouTube. Please tell us, share us, do whatever you want to do. Bring a flashlight, do whatever. But please send us out there so everybody can see how stupid we are. Um, check us out on Facebook. <laughs> and sorry, sorry, I triggered Jaded so bad today. <laughs> <laughs> I hate stupid people, man. 
I just man, he got rough I mean, on that one. I mean, yeah. they, stupid people indeed. Yes, sir. We saw that. We I saw the uh, the eye twitching and shit, dude. <laughs> I, I thought saw the he was gonna fall forehead. out of his computer chair. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. Take a swing he was getting loud. I was like, I can just see his neighbors all like, <laughs> "What the hell's going on?" <laughs> they, they hear me gaming. They're used to that. They're, 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 oh, well, there you go. Then <laughs> he's like, "The answer's <laughs> one fuck, no fucking guns." Oh my god! What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the knock on the door. FBI, open up! Oh shit! Yeah, FBI! All right, right there, everybody. Just a podcast. Leave me alone. <laughs> Say goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah.